all doing? Grand uprising. I'm doing fantastic. What a beautiful morning. <laughs> um, I'm gonna wait my friends to come in, then we can dive deep. <laughs> Life is so good. <laughs> I sleep so good tonight, okay? Oof, I woke up very joyful, you know? And uh, at the same time, um, <laughs> at the same time, uh, yesterday, I fall from the back. Damn, I cry like a baby. <laughs> I cried like a little baby, and then I went to sleep. <laughs> I was missing my mom so much, you know. My mom, she took care of me so good. You know, she took care of me so good. So, now that I'm alone here in nature, I miss her. I really miss her. Um, you know, I miss her sweet love towards me. I'm gonna fix that phone. Come on in, come on in. Um, how are you all? How are you all? How you doing? Huh? Y'all good? <sighs> Someone is saying, no, no, I don't have children. Ouch. I don't have children yet, but I do want lots of kids, you know. I love kids. I want I want 13 kids. Okay, 13 is the number of flower of life, if you all know what flower of life is. Uh did you take the last puppy? No, I didn't took the last puppy. I didn't took the last puppy. <laughs> it's someone else already took it, you know. And it's her. It's I don't want a puppy, cause um, I I'm traveling there and there. So what am I gonna do with the puppy? So yeah. Uh, ouch! Yesterday I fall from the bike, okay. And now I'm having so much pain on my leg. It's it's like a fucking infection on my leg. <laughs> it's curing, you know, it was very uh, intense for me. I was riding the motorbike. <laughs> I was riding the fucking motorbike. I'm like, la 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 la, on music on and everything. And then, I, in my mind, at that time, I was dumb. What I did, <laughs> what I did, I, I took away both of my hands and I let the bike drive by itself, but I forgot the drive cannot drive by itself so i just fall right away like boom and it hit me on my leg it hit me on my hand it just hit me you know so it was very shocked for me so i started to shake i'm like <gasps> and men come men's come running they pick up my things and they'll be like you're okay you know thai people here they're so loving they're so loving and gentle you know and we you know what I love about Thailand is this the men they're not nasty towards women, you know. If they see me, you know, wearing short clothes, they're not gonna look at me like this. They're gonna look down and just you know, which I like. I love when men respect women in their way, you know. I don't like when when they're nasty men's looking at you like this, you know, and just you know, it's like uh, I don't like it. But anyway, everybody likes different stuff, you know. So today my topic is, um, share this video before we dive deep. Today my topic is many things. That's why I didn't root any, you know, anything on top. So I want to talk about um, sun gazing, especially in the morning, you know. Do you know lots of people in India? They're, they're not eating anything for nine months. They're not eating anything. They're actually surviving only on water and the sunlight. So each morning they wake up in the morning and then um, they get the nutrition from the sunlight. When you look at the sunlight, especially in the morning, you know, it's good to always ask questions. Ask questions like, why do we 
can really look into the sunlight in the morning why why can we look into the sunlight especially in the evening there is a reason why we can do it but during day we cannot look we cannot look into the sunlight it's burners so why do we do it it's because of there is a reason you know and the reason behind it is that when in the morning when the sun rises it's good to wake up before it so once it rises so now you can look at it because the sunlight it's maybe going down from your side and now it's coming up from my side so it's actually taking all of your information that you've been sending towards day so now it's gonna come and give it to me so now once i wake up in the morning and i stare into the sunlight and now i'm receiving all of your messages okay because we are living in one world so whatever you send out i receive it and during the i send to you all so that when you all wake up you receive my messages you know but it's only highly spiritual being understand and can receive the things because if you are very um not aware of it if you are not in tune within in yourself you cannot receive anything at all you will be like sunlight you know like oh, whatever you know but everything have its deeper meaning behind it you know so um <laughs> i woke up i look i stare at the sunlight so those people in india they do it they're doing it for like half a year nine months and they don't even have to eat because it gives us the nutrition that we need in order to survive you know what i mean and at the same time it's good to do it in the evening too in the evening you can look into the sunlight too you know I love sunset, I love sun, sunrise, but sunset is special for me, it just gives me a different feeling, you know, it just takes me deep into myself, it's different, I love sunset, that's why my view from, from, from the view from my balcony is the sunset, you know, uh, so yeah, I always make sure that I'm closer to the water because I'm water sign and and based on our zodiac sign we have our own elements and when we are living with our elements um that's when we are super powerful that's when we can receive even more stuff you know we all got superpowers within us but the thing is that nobody is conscious about it nobody is conscious about it why because we never really experience our superpowers you know so in order to have access to super powers you gotta do lot self work you know because we are all <laughs> very highly spiritual beings and through human body we can do so much we can know so much you know <laughs> i see you sister you are my favorite girl too <laughs> so um so now to activate our superpowers we have to really be in tune with our elements so what i'm saying is that my elements is water every time i'm closer to the ocean i feel the breeze Damn, my hand my fingers be like i got magic in my hand like i got magic in my hand you know so i play with the water i I, in my head I imagine that okay so now now I'm sending and receiving the you know energy it's very electric can be filled you know smooth moving so now with the water the ocean and me we have deep connection and realize that if you feel like you have powers in your hand you fucking have it you just have to have access to it if you feel like that you can read people's mind you have it if you can see things with your eyes open you know unseen stuff the shit is real okay the shit is real when you dream at night and you see yourself jumping around and flying and shit you are doing it at the time you are actually lucid dreaming you know everything that you can ever imagine with your mind this thing is real these things exist exist 
trust me it existing you know but we human the way we've been programmed since we were kid that ah it's only on the movies it's only on the movies these things really don't exist well this is how this is how the people who don't want to ha have us to have access to our superpowers programmed us in that way so that we're gonna be like no it's just in the movie no how did they even got the idea to make movie about it exactly so these things are existing do you know there are people who can move stuff just by staring at it just by staring at one object and they move with their mind it thought you know what i mean so this is happening right now 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 on earth everywhere around the world especially in india why because they're very highly spiritual being all day what they do they are practicing the spiritual practices, so now they are ha having access to it. Once you activate your pineal gland, so this is what I'm talking about, sun gazing. So the pineal gland activates through the sunlight too. How? When you when you sun gaze in the morning, it charge up. When you sun gaze in the evening, it charge up. So you can really feel the vibration right here. And at the same time, when you focus, when you focus on one object, when you focus on your pineal gland when you believe in it you can activate your pineal gland you know and once you activate your pineal gland you have lots of superpowers like you can really time travel you can really like you know you can really see it wherever you're sitting now and just by closing your eyes and opening the third eye so now you're gonna have access into my house you can tell me what is there what's happening there but we we've been we've been uh, poisoned since we were a kid because there were so many spirits out there that don't want good for us that's why the world is corrupted you know that's why most of the people are lost and slaving for the system you know life after life because they them they themselves don't know about the important stuff they're they're gone in their mind that's why they it's been poisoning on the air poisoning on the water for you to be sleeping because they don't want us to be awake you know who are they while well, they themselves are not in tune with divine god they themselves are, are the so-called destroyer of the earth and the people you know but once in a time we all still we are together you know and this is what makes it balance you know in that way you know it's duality you know highs and lows hot co hot cold you know day and night dark and bright this is what makes it balance so in this universe it have to exist in that way in order to balance itself so i don't really blame but it's your choice to really wake up if you want to have tap into your supernatural abilities supernatural powers that you came here to develop you know that's why you got the human body that's why we all got this human body human body is the most highest consciousness in the existence you know uh, and and this is why we got it so we got a pineal gland and once you activate it you can see from far and at the same time you also can uh, read people's mind very easily and you can scan people's body just by you know you can scan their body you can tap into someone's body and let them know what's going on and 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 people are doing it on earth you know and uh, um, you know so those are the things that is very important for me in life i'm just sharing my thoughts you know my feelings right here those are the things that is very important for me because i'm in it i'm in it and i'm loving it as I am evolving to my highest nature, you know, and um, so so it's all about yourself, you know. Nobody can come and walk the path for you. So uh, so through meditation, we can activate our pineal gland. It takes some time, though. It's not that today you wake up and your pineal is gonna be activated, you know. There are so many people out there. They don't even have to do any spiritual practices in order to get their ability on, you know. So uh, they're just doing it naturally, you know. Like when you check, we got internet, you know. We got internet, we got the whole world here. So you can really check 
about the people who got the superpowers and most of the people they're not on camera right, like this and like hey i got superpower well some people they have to hide it you know some people they they cannot be very open here you know especially on camera you know even me myself when you look at me do you think i say everything here of course not i cannot tell everything right here because if i say everything right here it's not good for me you know <laughs> what you gonna do what you gonna do when they gonna come for you <laughs> What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> watching, watching. <laughs> so that's why I don't love to take my phone everywhere I go. Oh my god, why didn't I say that? It's okay, y'all can know about it. <laughs> so sun gazing. So sun gazing is very powerful thing, okay? Very powerful, powerful thing. To really, really sun gaze every single day, every morning, every evening, and then you meditate. You just focus on your pineal gland. Like me, I feel the vibration exactly right here. Cause a pineal gland is not exactly like right right here. It's actually back 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 on our head. You know, it's an organ. It's an organ that is behind us. Okay, so now, um, uh, so now we can really tap into it it's it's a little bit process though you know because you have to let go of all that toxic colgate plus plus extra plus toothpaste you know that have fluoride inside fluoride is so unhealthy for our pineal gland ask question yeah why you think why you think they put fluoride in toothpaste why do you think they're poisoning the water with fluoride in it why there is reason behind everything because if we if we all have access to our pineal gland our eyes that travel everywhere our eyes only one and only eye that knows about everything if we have access to that shit damn they themselves have to fall down that's why to make it in balance our lower self lower self gotta keep that in this way you know but we conscious people have to really think have to really think and question every little thing you know so me i stopped using fluoride for four years ago you know it's a it's, it's a long journey you know so you cannot just travel in one day oh today you are not drinking fluoride mm, water today you are not brushing you know with that colgate that have extra fluoride in it you know that no you have to cleanse out the toxic out of your brain first in india in India, how do they do it? They put turmeric around here, okay? They put turmeric every single day because what the turmeric does is that it goes inside and kills the toxic out. And they always make sure they're fasting. They always make sure they don't use drink any kind of water that have fluoride inside. Not, none of that, okay? So be mindful that's why it's always good to drink um fluoride free water spring mountain water and brush your teeth with coconut oil you can brush your teeth with charcoal you can you can you know if i cannot eat it i don't need it if i cannot eat it i don't want to use it okay so this is how i am doing you know and it's good to take one spoon of um uh, virgin coconut oil every single day one spoon okay because our brain consume more nutrition than our body so it's for the brain you know our brain have to be crystal clear you know so those are the things that we have to be aware of and at the same time when it comes to food it's lots of chemicals in the food so many vegetables and fruits they don't even have seed inside it's like eh hey what's happening oh my god this time i'm having huge garden for myself and for everybody i wanna i wanna give people like we used to do back in the ancient time 
you know, you all can come home to me. I'm going to give you all the organic fruits and vegetables, you know. Because this is how we exchange, you know. This is how we exchange. We don't exchange with money to money. Money is energy. But everything else is energy. I want to have, I want to have a beautiful you know life like this you know if you have banana and i have cucumber home let's fucking exchange it you know if i have lots of sour soup home and you have ginger let's exchange it this is how we exchange we, we don't go and buy things you know so this is this is the world that i want you know this is the thing that i want to live in that's why um we have to really come together and really understand and develop ourselves spiritually you know and for me, most important thing is to travel with my eyes because my only one and only eyes can travel. It's traveling all the time. But I'm having this human body to have access to it. But most of us, we are not having access to it because we don't do any spiritual practices. We are so out there. We are so out of our body. We are so out of ourselves because with our mind, we are jumping everywhere. We are not really into the present moment. Moment. we don't discipline ourselves we eat whatever because this is the way we've been programmed since we were a kid and it's like ah you know so we have to let go of everything in order to have something better in life you know that's why i let go of everything so that now i could build myself all over again and i empty myself i really empty myself from every program that's been programming within me and now I program myself all over again the way I want to program myself okay so um, <laughs> we are the light here you know so me as I am as I'm evolving to my greatest every single day um, you know I'm taking care of myself in every way that I can I'm loving myself I'm really taking care of myself you know I've been I've been I've, I've been very healthy you know back in the time i was not that healthy you know i was not even drinking water i'm like water what's that give me some sweet stuff you know <laughs> so um once it hit me the shit hit me so i really throw all these things away you know i used to have like <laughs> you know me i always you know my ascendant is leo you know so what do we do as a leo we really love expensive stuff you know i, I want to have things that nobody else had i used to really <laughs> before the jordan came out <laughs> this is funny before the new shoes came out i, I used to stand outside of the store because i wanted to be the first one who gonna buy those jordans okay <laughs> I couldn't sleep all night and I paid like $300 just to have the shoes, you know. So I used to really spend a lot on the things, materialistic stuff. I used to have very expensive stuff on me. You know, I just used to have it because Leo Rising, they just love it. They just love. They have very unique style, you know. And and this is what I used to do back in the time. And at the same time, um, wow, I used to spend so much. At the same time, it, I was working. I was working every single day. So in the end of the month, when I got the payment, I'm like giving all my money away to my friends. And I used to buy lots of expensive stuff. And one day it hit me. It hit me like, what am I doing? You know, like, what am I doing? I get the payment. The salary today, tomorrow is gone. And whole month I'm without money, you know. So slowly but surely, I was, as I was uh, questioning things, you know, I was questioning every little thing. So one day it hit me. It hit me like never hitting me before. So what I did, I threw everything away. I threw all of my expensive shoes. I threw all of my expensive clothes. I used to have like a store in my room with all the beautiful perfumes like me i'm a perfume lovers like at that time you know so i used to have perfumes everywhere you know i decorate them in my room you know so <laughs> when people used to come in my room they're like wow you know and i used to love that and <laughs> so now what i did i gave away all my shit away I gave away everything and I left all of my friends behind because they were not doing what I was doing. I started to fast 
fast only on smoothies, fruits. I used to eat chicken every day, you know. So I I tr I stopped eating meat. I I went vegan immediately, and I couldn't drink, you know, drink any kind of sugar drinks anymore. No sugar. Uh, no gluten, you know, no alcohol at all. I don't know when was the last time I drink alcohol. So I just, you know, throw away everything and I change everything. And now what I do, I'm so simple right now. I just love my life. I'm smile. I, I'm the smile. I'm the joy of life. At that time, I was not happy at all, you know. Like, I was in it. I had everything that I need. But I was not happy. I was suffering so much. Why? Because I was not really in tune within my true self like I am right now. I didn't have enough self-love because all this, all this stuff take our self-love away from us, you know? Everything that we eat is the energy that we carry within, you know? We are what we eat. So our cells create from it, you know, every 35 days, Every 35 days, our body creates new cells from the food that we eat. And our brain consumes more nutrition. That means that, um, <laughs> that means that we think what we eat. We feel what we eat. So that's why I change everything, you know. So it's not that I change only, you know, stop buying stuff. Oh, no. I changed my circumstance. I started to be alone. I couldn't be alone and my, at my earlier journey. I needed my friends around me all the time, especially my girlfriends, you know. I needed them every single day around me. We were meeting every single day. Um, so... Um, at the time i needed some someone to be with me you know all the time i couldn't be alone you know so as i was growing i'm like no no i just started to be alone burn my sage change my music totally i was not listening to Kanye west anymore you know eh, ooh, la, 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 fuck the bitch, la, la, la. you know i stopped doing it because i realized that this is lower frequency i cannot listen to this stuff because we consume whatever we look at, whatever we listen, whatever we smell, whatever we give our time to, we consume it because nutrition is not only what you eat. Nutrition is everything. So I stop. I just wow. And I just dive deep into nature, you know, in the jungle. My mother be like, what's wrong with her? Hey, what's wrong with you? <laughs> My mother think I go crazy, you know. <laughs> and then I started to travel. I started to travel the world. This year, this year, this year, do you know how many countries I travel? I started my travel last year from October, November. Okay, so I started my journey from Costa Rica. I went down to Colombia, Ecuador, Mexico, Panama. Hawaii, um, I've also been in Los Angeles for a couple of days, and then uh, I came back to Sweden, I was traveling for half an year, you know, and uh, now I'm back again here in Thailand, I'm living my life, like everything changed, but there was a process though, it's been four years for me, it's been four years for me to take myself where I am right now. <laughs> So this is spiritual growth, okay? We are growing every single day and I'm just here just telling you about myself, my journey, whatever I go in my mind, my thoughts, my belief, my consciousness. Because we are, we are different level of consciousness, but we got to realize that consciousness is one. You know, whatever I'm having within, you are having the same thing within. We are one. There is no separation. We just have to tap into it and have access to it and really go through the process. You know, I'm the happiest person on earth right now. You know, I feel super powerful. I feel it's magic on my hand. I'm vibrating so high. You know, so this is what's happening when I go down to the ocean. Hmm. <laughs> I can feel the ocean, I can feel the vibration, I can feel the magic, I'm seeing the light, I visualize it, now we're exchanging, whoa, 
I woke up like this, I'm like, wow, wow, you know? At night when we dream, we, we are traveling. We are traveling where the true sky is not the sky that you see during day. Sky is blue. Oh no, the sky is not blue. Everything have its deeper meaning. The sky is black. Our real sky is the night sky. This is our mind, it's not the sky, it's the mind. We, you think, oh no, my mind is here, right here. Well, what is that then? <laughs> what is that? So everything internal is the external, okay? So whatever you are seeing from outside to be like there, it's actually internal, you know? So there is no separation. So at night, it's good to allow yourself to see the night sky because this is your ether. When you see a shooting star, I was questioning. I, I become like a little kid again, you know? <laughs> I question everything nowadays. I sit and I wonder like this. I don't know when I did it last time, when I was a kid. So now I become that kid again. I sit, you know. I don't listen to music. I don't listen to I don't I don't listen to music at all. So I'm just observing the silence and I'm like looking at the plants and the, seeing the birds, they're coming, the butterflies, you know, they're the visitor at my house. And I'm just chilling with them and I'm like and then suddenly I start to question, you know, I'm like, why are you here? Why do you exist? What is that? You know, I dive deep into it. And the answers lies within. It's not that if I question thing, you can come and give me the answer. No. Or you question me something and I'm going to give you the answer. No. Always question your inner verse. You, the, the same answer that I have, you having it too. You just have to have access to it. So I have access to it. I'm, I'm receiving all the answers that I'm questioning on, you know. So um, when I question, I get the answer, you know. So I be questioning a lot. Wow, and I'm receiving so much, you know. It's, it's deeper, you know. And I cannot share everything here, you know. I can't because my higher self said, don't. That's why all the monks, all the babas, all the gurus out there, you cannot even see them on live, you know. But we are the new generation, you know. I gotta do what I gotta do, you know, so that I can really share myself to you all. But I cannot share everything right here. No, not at all. <laughs> so it's good. Uh, spiritual practices. Fasting. Um meditation you know stay in tune let go of the things that is not making you vibrate high that is not giving you higher thought thoughts you know and really be in tune with the light fresh air drinking the purest water me i don't drink any tap water at all no fluoride none of that you know like i'm just drinking i'm living on coconuts water you know I don't want any water if it's not spring, you know. So coconut water is the best water for me. So this is what I've been drinking. And, and you know, I don't take shower with lots of chemical water because I don't, I, you know, our body, we have hair everywhere, you know. This is, this is our antenna, you know. So now, once we take shower with lots of chemical water, it goes through our skin inside especially when you shower your head it goes to your pineal and your brain oh god that's why i always make sure that i'm taking shower with the ocean water waterfall water you know just allowing myself to be on that i'm very higher vibrational being right now why because i choose this way i choose to be in tune within myself with my highest nature the light in my heart because i know that i'm the brightest light on the sky i know myself okay and there are so much more to know yet so i don't know everything about myself there is so much to explore within myself you know and i also make sure like i, I you know in costa rica i was waking up and i was drinking 
16, 17 coconut in the morning. It was so much coconuts. I was taking shower with it, you know. Costa Rica got lots of free coconuts on the beaches, on the street, and there are not so many people who drinks it because lots of people is out of themselves. So me as a nature child, I'm like, da -da -da, I'm wild. Give me that coconut. <laughs> so I, I was doing it, you know. So uh, it's been a while now. It's been a while. While soon it's one year since I'm. I free myself, you know, it's been a while and I do miss my mom Like yesterday I was crying like a baby. I'm like mama Where's my mama? But hey um, <laughs> We have to let go you have to become your own mother, you know, and this is how we become stronger in life You know because we cannot really cling to stuff because um, Nothing really belongs to us, you know, we have to let go of the things in order to grow, you know and anything that destructs our growth, we have to let go of it, you know. Nobody can destruct my growth. I'm growing every single day and this is spiritual growth, you know. So this is what's happening to me, you know. Just, I'm just loving my life. I'm, I love my hair. I love me. <laughs> I love myself. So this is, so it's good to be in town. And just sharing this bliss with you all. And I hope you all doing good. Mm, if there are any question you can ask me I will answer you because I know I'm not answering to all messages you know because me I don't really like to go through messages you know I don't really like to take that time and just sit and like write and stuff you know because I just don't love it okay I'm very detached from it you know so don't mind if I don't think that I'm ignoring you or anything. Just think that I'm not in it to sit and just answer. But sometimes when I feel love in my heart, I feel love in my heart all the time. But, you know, emotionally, the way I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna answer, so I may do it. So, yeah. <laughs> I love myself and <laughs> I love you all. I love you all, you know. Come and be free. Come and be free. <laughs> <laughs> and leave everything that is not making you happy, you know. It can be anything. School, job, people, partner, places, food, anything, you know. And if you are sad, do not listen to sad music. Listen to higher vibrational music. Because when you are sad and you listen to sad music, that is when you lower down your vibration even more. Okay, me when I'm sad, wow, when I'm sad, I dance, when I'm sad, I cry sometimes, but I always make sure that um, it's good music on the background, you know, so, yeah, live your life, um, I'm gonna meditate now for four hours tap into it tap into my superpowers and really know about myself more how much glory i have within you know after three hours of doing it the last hours give me something the last hour is wow intense oh, wow i love it i'm so addicted to it <laughs> much love to you all and share this video okay share this video peace and love and joy.